A lot has changed for the Edmonton Oilers in the last 12 months. They went from potential cup contenders with sky-high expectations to, well, a lot of disappointment heading into this season. Chris, what are realistic expectations for the Oilers? Well, this is a team that that certainly is going to set a playoff spot, I think, as their expectation. And, and you know, probably the out external expectations won't be there as, as they go to camp. But, you know, I think when you look at where we, we were, you know, the way we were talking with this team 12 months ago, uh, not a lot has changed. I know they haven't done a lot this summer uh, to address some of the issues that they had last year. But you, know, you take that they have the best player in the game in Connor McDavid. Uh, you know, I think Darnell Nurse, two of the guys we, we spoke to here. And, and you know, there's there's a lot of this to, to you know, see some progression. And, and certainly the biggest focus for them, Sean, now with a brand-new coaching staff, other than Todd McClellan remaining on, is is limiting the goals against. It's something that, that really plagued them last year. You mentioned Connor McDavid. He's coming off an outstanding season despite the Oilers' lack of success. Connor said he wanted to get stronger, faster, and he wanted to score more. Is it a scary thought to think of a faster Connor McDavid? Well, the scary thought is I believe he can actually do it. That's, that's probably what would, you know, strike fear into opponents and, and goaltenders around the league. And, you know, when you look at the great players, they always are, are identifying aspects of their game where they can improve. And this is the second time now in a row where we've heard uh, Connor McDavid go through a summer and say he wants to score more goals. He went from 30 to 41 two years ago to last season. Uh, there's no reason given, you know, what we've seen of him as an NHL player to think he can't uh, do even better than that. And, you know, what I look at from him last year is a number that jumps out is the 84 even strength points, more than one a game on average. I mean, that's just incredible stuff. Haven't seen that in the league in two decades, and you know, it's a testament to just how good this guy is. Now, one of the big question marks for the Oilers heading into this season is the contract status of Darnell Nurse. What is the current status? Well, he was optimistic. I think that that's a good sign. It's still 17 days until camp, and you know, as, as you know, Darnell himself pointed out, there are other restricted free agents around the league in the same spot. Guys like William Nylander in Toronto, Sam Reinhart in, in Buffalo, waiting for that contract. And uh, you know, he's you know seemed very. Uh, upbeat about the prospects of getting it done in time to report for training camp and you know at this point that's the, the goal for both sides here is to to reach a deal that they can each live with obviously uh, they have a different idea of where it should be as we're talking now but to, to reach that deal in time uh, to get him in camp and he says he has faith good faith uh, that that's what's going to happen here well, a lot of question marks swirling around Darnell Nurse a lot of question marks swirling around the Edmonton Oilers exactly what will this year's Oilers team be like